welcome to the new episode of Saturday Morning Ram Presents. I am your host, Tim Maddell. And I'm Christian Ackerman. Of course, we are the show that takes you back to your childhood one unboxing at a time, where we unbox toys from our childhood, from the 70s, 80s, or 90s. Oh, yes. And today is no different because we are unboxing toys from Batman, the animated series. This one's from Walmart, six bucks at Walmart. Six bucks at Walmart. Uh, yeah, Walmart had a lot of these. Yeah, yeah. I, remember. I remember getting mine at Toys R Us. So before we open this one, we're going to open up newer ones. The first one we're going to open up is the Penguin. We both we got this at Hastings. Yeah. Which, if you know Hastings, it's a store that went out of business just what last year, maybe two years ago. This one here has the Hastings S sticker Suncoast. still on it. Twenty five dollars. I mean, wow. well, we didn't get it for that. No, we didn't because they're going out of business. So I think I paid. Three bucks, four bucks, I think, for it, maybe. Yeah, that's the same like what I got with my yeah. Batman and my Rocketeer. Yeah. So we'll start with this one. Mm -hmm. So this one came out in November of 2014. He is about four and a half inches tall. And the cool thing is he was voiced by Paul Williams, who is mainly known for his music nowadays. Oh, really? Yeah, he's a composer, singer, and songwriter. Uh, he's he's written songs like... Um... Cut to? No, I don't want to get copyright. No, and then flag. <laughs> Cut. So he's written songs like Three Dog Night, uh, Old Fashioned Love Song. Uh, he wrote The Carpenters, uh, We've Only Just Begun. Oh, wow. And David Bowie's uh, Fill Your Heart. Nice. Yeah. I like how he looks. I can't wait until he comes out of here. And I want to see his, uh, his accessories. He even has a monocle. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Look at his hair, man. It looks like Dan and DeVito playing the penguin. It really does look like Dan and DeVito. Like and him in that suit. I love how his, his trench coat is, is oh, wow. like loose, like rubbery. I didn't that know it was going to awesome. be rubbery. He looks like he stepped out of the cartoon. Yeah, like I said, the monocle is amazing as well. Yeah. That top hat and everything. Can I feel it? Got to smell it. it. Smells amazing. Yeah, that, that kind of applies. That smells good. That's like they put some kind of scent in it. Oh, his legs move. Everything. Oh, and you can hold right there. That's where you hold yep, stuff. Yep, yep, Look at his arms bend. And so, his hands come out, too. You can yeah, there's them. interchangeable. And these were released by uh, DC Collectibles. No way. I thought his mouth moved, but I can't tell. I got a cup here with a spoon. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I mean, the detail on that is what amazing. Is that? It's a stand. No way. We have his umbrella right there. Right there, you see like a cane. This thing got bent to me. Right there. That is great. Yeah. I mean, with him, you don't really, you don't even need to stand. Really, he stands on his own. No, well. yeah, he doesn't pretty... stand on his own. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's a color booklet catalog. Now, did you get the car, Tim? I did not get the car. Great. I have many other of these that we're gonna open up on, on other episodes, but today we're gonna have two of these, and then other ones we're gonna like three or four in the other ones. Okay, great. Oh, look at he, he's big enough to play this. He is. He's he's life size. He's all burger time, but I <laughs> eat fish. <laughs> so the second one I have. Oh yeah. He is one of my all-time favorite Batman villains. Right. Very underrated, I think. Yeah, he's great. He would appear a couple of times. In yeah. The, the ventriloquist. Mm-hmm. And Scarface. Makes me want to watch the cartoon now. Yeah, I know. So good. Look at that. That's a different one you need to stand on because he would not stand on his own. Yeah, let me see him. I mean, look at the detail. Look at the detail on this guy. That is amazing. Down does the mouth move. Oh, and his hands change out too, so you can hold the dummy. Oh, this is amazing. I gotta show you this. Here. If you look in the back, you can see that it's kind of rubbery as well, so it really gives right there. You stick his hand right in there. And there you oh, go. Oh, my God. That looks so, and it looks like the show, too. Wow. That's yeah. Awesome. And you can put the Tommy gun in his hand and Scarface's gun. hand. There you go. That is great. Wow. No, I love this toy. And remember, guys, if you like what you see, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out a lot. Coming, coming, ha! And also, 
check out our podcast because I have interviewed a few actors from the Batman animated series. I had Kevin Connery on. It was actually his very first ever Skype video interview. So for our last item, mm. one actually from the 90s itself. It is the infrared Batman with launching bat signal discs. So this one was released in 1993. He stands at about five inches tall by Kenner, of course. And it's course, so 90s. The front, not much. Not as cool as the 80s toys had in the front, but still cool. Yeah, there he is. All right. The clip-on cape. Dude, this cape, I was obsessed with these capes as a, as a pre-teen or, or a teen. Because they just only clip on in the back, and they're made of fabric. I love these capes. And look at the figure without the cape on. It looks like he walked off a cartoon. <laughs> it's awesome. And here's the... the accessory looks pretty awesome. Yeah, I love this accessory as a kid. So here are the... Uh, oh, he shoots discs. Back discs. Wow. Here's a piece that you put on his back. So there you go. There you go. You can grab on like that. Yeah. Rocket man. And then you put that up. And he shoots. Lower the disc in the front right there where you see it grabs onto it. Let's put both of them in there. And right here. Kind of reminds me of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, pizza. Yeah, thing. yeah, it really does. That one was actually motorized. Yeah. So I love this toy as, as, a, as a teenager. I guess I was 13 when this came out. And remember, if you like this episode, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out, like I said before. And what else, Christian? Well, if you have any <laughs> other ideas of future episodes, please let us know. And make sure to share this episode. Maybe Make sure to let people know that we exist because we need to get the word out there. Yeah. Share, share, share. <laughs> and sharing is caring. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah, see ya.